There's a major misconception, which is that you cannot have server components in a client component. And that's actually wrong. You can easily do that in Next.js. Let's take a look at an example. So what we're going to create here is we're going to have the server component. It's going to be a page. And in there, we're going to have a client component. Pretty standard, right? Maybe you have a page in Next.js and in there you can have client components, of course. But now what if you want to have a server component in that client component? And a lot of people think that's not possible. Or if you do that, that it will automatically become a client component as well. And that's not true. So let's, so let's take a look at how that would work, right? So you can imagine a provider component. Usually that's a client component and you wrap a lot, a big part of your app with that client component. So you would think, oh, maybe everything then becomes a client component. And that's not true, right? So you can have a client component and in there you can still have server components. So let's take a look at how that would work. Let's start from a clean slate here. So I have a page component and this is just displaying some text. So this text is in a server component and I'll just add, this is the page component. Right? So this is a server component because everything by default in the app directory in Next.js is a server component. Right, so this is a server component. Now we want to have, let's say, a client component in here. Let's quickly create a client component. I will just call that example client component and I'll say example client component and I'm going to mark this as a client component. I'm going to use the use client directive and I'm going to copy this text here, right? So I will just add the paragraph in here and I will say this text is from a client component. I'll remove the page here. Let me also add some background color to this div so we can see it here. All right, so now I'm going to save here. This is just a client component. Now we need to add that here. So we need to import this. I'm just going to write it here. So it's going to be an example client component. I've imported it here. And now if I save here, let's see what we get. So now you see we have a server component and in there we have our example client component. Now what if we want to have a server component in this client component? So now let's create another server component. So I'm just going to say example server component, and this will just be a paragraph with a background color. This text is from a server component. We don't need this import here, right? So here I don't have use client at the top. It's not inherently a client component. So now you may think we need to import it here in this example client component, right? If we would do this example server component, if I would import this here, it actually becomes a client component, right? So a component becomes a client component if you add use client or if you import it into a component that is a client component, right? So it's not really about the rendering tree. It's more about these imports, right? So here we're importing this into a client component. So this automatically becomes a client component as well. That's not what we want, right? So we want to keep this a server component. So we cannot do it this way, right? So you cannot just add it like this. I mean, you can do it, but it will be a client component, right? But we want this to stay a server component. So we cannot import it in here. So the trick here, if we go to the page here, where we have, this is server component, this is the client component. Instead of using the self-closing tag, we're going to use an opening and closing tag. So let me make this a little bit wider, right? So now this will work the same way. You can write it like this. Whatever I add in between here, that will be available to us in the children prop, right? So here I'm just adding text here and I get a complaint from TypeScript because it's saying, you know, this type with children, um, we are not accepting that here yet. So in this client component now, we need to accept that there could be some child element in there or some, some stuff in here, essentially, that we get as a child, right? And we want to type this. You can type it like, like this, and then we can output that below here, let's say. So you can just you can just pass it through. And right? so whatever this client component gets in between, it's gonna be assigned to children here. And we're just passing that through and we're just rendering it here, right? So if I do this and save here, you can see now we get this blah, blah, blah here. All right, so the trick here is not to use blah, blah, blah here, but to actually use that server component. It's not really, it's not really a trick. I mean, this is how it's supposed to work, um, right? So I can just write my server component in here. I've imported it here now. This is still a server component, this page component, right? So I can import this component in here and it will, it will stay a server component. And then I can just render it in between here. And now when I save here, you can see that we get the result that we're looking for. So so now what we're gonna, what's going to happen is this server component is the children of this client component here, right? So that's going to be here. And we're just rendering it like here. If you want to have a server component in a client component, you have to use this children pattern. This is the result that we get. So we have a server component and in there we have a client component. And then in there we have another server component. All right, so let me give you a more realistic example. So typically if you have a context, if you're using the context API, maybe you're keeping track of the theme. So we can have some theme provider component, right? And that could 
could look something like this. We have this theme provider, that's the component. It's keeping track of the state of the theme, right? And we're using use state for that, right? That's client side functionality. So we need to make this a client component, right? So this is now a client component here. And then we're using this create context and then this context provider. And it's really important here. The important point here is that this is a client component. And typically you want to wrap, you know, pretty big parts of your app with this theme provider. So that, you know, a lot of components have access to the value that you're passing through here, right? So typically what you would do is then you would go to your layout file and here, this layout file with the children here, this is going to be the pages here. That's not really important, but the important part is typically what you want to do here is you want to have theme provider, which is a client component. You can now wrap basically your entire app with this theme provider, right? And now the idea is some people think that, well, this is a client component and we're basically putting everything all in our entire app in there. So now everything in our app is basically a client component. And that's not true as we saw here, right? So here we saw a server component in a client component, but you have to use this children prop. So this theme provider is indeed accepting children here and it's just passing through the children like that, right? So you can have this theme provider being a client component and then in there you can still have server components, right? So this is a major misconception with these provider components that, you know, you shouldn't use them because then you're going to make your entire app uh, all client components and that's not true. All your, your components can still stay server components. As long as you use that children pattern, you can easily nest server components in client components. A component only becomes a client component if you add use client at the top or you import it into a component that's already a client component. So if I would import some other component here, right, this example server component, now I'm making this component a client component as well, right? So it's, the name is still server component, but it's going to become a client component because I'm importing it into a component that is a that, that's already a client component. Right, so a bit tricky perhaps, check out my React Next.js course if you want to be a professional Next or React developer. Make sure also that you've mastered the fundamentals. Those are both JavaScript as well as CSS if you want to be a professional developer. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful and see you in the next one. Bye.